The Chiefs take on the Raiders in Oakland. This game is a 53.5 point over under. The Chiefs are 7.5 point road favorites. And we like Derek Carr because yes. last two, the last two times uh, when he's played home games against Kansas City, 417 yard average, three touchdowns. Or, okay, these were the two games. Yeah. 417 and three, 285 and three. Yes. The Chiefs last week gave up 53 points. Two. To the Jacksonville Anonymous Wide Receiver Club. To a sixth-round cor- rookie quarterback. With a heck of a mustache. Oh, it, oh, that I like it. I like his mustache. Last week, Josh Jacobs was uh, electric. He was great. He had two touchdowns, 23-plus carries. He's the first running back to do that in over 25 years in their debut. The others were Alfred Morris, LT, and Marshall Falk. Great debut for him. We like Darren Waller in this game on the Raiders' side. Love him. Tyrell Williams, is he an every week wide receiver too in your mind? I don't know about every week, but certainly this this matchup against the Chiefs. I would put him in the every week category. He, he I think could so. earn it. He, he could, looked great. He did. It wasn't just like the production. Like I actually thought he looked like a guy that can handle the job. Well, and it's it's always nice when you have teams, whether they're great or whether they're mediocre, when there are teams that really only have two or three Weapons, You know, I, I think of the Vikings, right? They, they might not throw the ball that much, but when they do, you know it's either Adam Thielen or Stephon Diggs, and then they've got Brandon Cooks. Here, you've got Tyrell Williams, Darren Waller, and Josh Jacobs, and then nothing. So I, I, I think Tyrell Williams is safe not because of who he is, the style of play he has, but because of the needs of an NFL team to have a wide receiver one. Now, I'll throw this out there. I think the one concern I would have about Derek Carr, Williams, Waller, is built around, it's built on the principle of how does John Gruden win this football game. And the way he wins this football game is up front, running the ball with Josh Jacobs, and slowing down the clock. Last week, they were the second slowest pace. They won the game. You don't do yourself any favors putting the ball into Patrick Mahomes' hands as often as possible. So I believe the game plan will be go out, and put yourself in a position to not have a huge deficit where Derek Carr has to come back and run, run, run the football. I totally agree. That will be his game plan. <laughs> <laughs> and then after yeah. five uh, minutes, after two drives from the Chiefs, he will turn around and he will shred that game plan and he'll have to keep up. Like Matt Nagy did with his game plan from week one? Yeah. Where he said he's inventing all new plays for yes. week two? Yes. Oh, very much looking forward to that. You're playing Patrick Mahomes. Yep. You're playing... The Lizard King himself. Oh, yes, yes, bloody. Your start of the week, Mike. Yeah. Damian Williams, LaShawn uh, McCoy, I, McC- McCole Hardman. I am willing to play both running backs. I'm like Damian Williams still got a ton of, of opportunity through the air and a ton of opportunity in the red zone. That could – we could see that starting to shift with how good Shady McCoy looked, but – I still think that both of them are going to be playable for for now. And like for example, in our league of record, I have LaShawn McCoy, I have Miles Sanders. In this matchup, I'm playing Shady McCoy over Miles Sanders until the until we see a little bit more from Miles Sanders. All right, I don't think they're what about McCall Hardman? I I think he should be owned everywhere, but I'm not forcing him out there this week. Is there any interest in any sort of bet with we me have about a, his production this we, week? We I guess we did the John Ross. Yes. Bet. Okay. I'm, I'm content. I am apparently really trying to bet with him over you, and over again. Look, so I, that means you believe that he should I th- be I think started? He should be, I think he should be started, yeah. I think he should be flexed. No doubt. Uh, so we'll see what happens in that one. Chiefs are going to remain heavy favorites in the majority of their games this year. Yeah. And teams will be playing catch up against the defense that, you know, you're going to be able to play catch up. You can against. catch up on. Yeah. Uh, at least put up a lot of garbage time. Like, those are the games where the, if the Chiefs get out ahead and you have Derek Carr sitting at like 10 fantasy points through three quarters. Don't you're, worry. You're like, yeah, don't worry. It's coming. Get Zooks! You made it to the end of the video. Congratulations. If you want to see more, click that subscribe button.